Hello everybody, Trey Ratcliffe here. I want to tell you a quick little bit about the new Luminar libraries. I also have a longer, uh, more thoughtful, deep dive kind of video, okay, where I really get into it for about 15 minutes to show you all little things. But now, I'm just going to brush it over it quite broadly and tell you what's going on. What is Luminar libraries? Well, it is the Luminar you know and love for Mac and Windows. There's a link down below, by the way. But now it has photo organization inside of it, okay? And you can see right now I'm here inside the library part and kind of scrolling through my photos. Look at that, huh? So you make them smaller, bigger, this sort of thing. Uh, if you want to see it big, you just double click on it, zoom in, all that jazz. When you're zoomed in, you, ha you have this little view over here, which is kind of swanky and cool. Um, hit G to get back to the, to the library. Um, I'll show you, I'll tell you that about another really cool feature about it. So you've got access to all of your pictures over here. Okay. All your folders. Uh, it's an exact mimic of your hard drive. Okay. And if you want to pick up a, a picture like this one and move it to another folder, it moves here and over in your finder or windows Explorer. Right. And by the way, vice versa also works. If you're over there and messing in your finder or windows Explorer, you move stuff around, change the directory name, doesn't matter. As soon as you get back inside Luminar Libraries, it's all uh, there for you. A total perfect match. We can say that definitely doesn't happen with a good old Lightroom, the program I love to hate. Uh, speaking of a big weakness with, with Lightroom, it's slow. Isn't it slower than molasses in a Tennessee winter? I made that up, by the way, but you, you get the idea. But you can see how fast this thing is. Whoop, whoop, whoop. I don't know how it's so fast, but it is. Um, now, it doesn't have all the features of Lightroom yet, especially some of the ones that I want, but they have a roadmap. Okay, they got a roadmap coming for us, and all the features that uh, I want are the same ones you want. I'm sure they're going to be coming. Okay, okay. let me talk to you about one way uh, that Luminar definitely kicks Lightroom's butt, and that is with all these filters over here. Okay. Um, now, of course, some of these filters have been kind of... Um, simplified into these uh, looks or presets. They come with all kinds of different presets. So you always click on different presets and it'll uh, it'll give you one of those different kinds of looks, right? If it's too much, well that one's very subtle. A little more extreme one like this. Too much, you can move that slider down so you just do like 50% of the preset. I think that's kind of cool, right? Um, but basically what's happening is it's adjusting all these sliders over here on the right, okay? There are different kinds of we're, I know I've thrown a lot of stuff at you. I'm sorry. You can watch the deep dive if you want to see more. Different kinds of workspaces here, like professional. You get all these good stuff. Denoise, saturation, uh, AI filter, which sometimes does cool stuff. Actually, usually does cool stuff. Um, you can add your own filters in. And I think this is how it's so much better than uh, Lightroom, because this has five times as many features. There's really fun ones like sun rays. Uh, Clarity, dehaze, oh, I guess Lightroom had this dehaze. Bad example, Trey. But it's got a lot more that it, it that uh, Lightroom doesn't have. All right, so, and that's really, really fun to play with. All right, oh, get out of here, fly. Get out of here, fly. All right, so that's just a, a quick uh, idea there for you. If you watch longer, when I can talk more about importing. Um, I'll talk about uh, more how the presets work, uh, some of the other tools available. Well, oh, it's got layers. Lightroom doesn't have layers. It's one of the greatest features about it. Anyway, guys, uh, get it. You're going to love it. Uh, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Click the little bell to ding, and uh, you'll be able to see even more of these sorts of videos. All right, love you guys. See you next time. Bye.